Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Happy New Year! New Year, new you, you haven't changed, why haven't you changed? So, with it being the New Year, what I'm going to be doing is changing my setup. This right here is my setup. Monitors connected to this laptop. This laptop powers these two monitors, as well as its own screen. So, with it being 2018, I figured I might as well change this because it's been like this for the past eight years or so, nine years, not in this room because I've only been here for about four years and well I figured I might as well, I figured I might as well, I mean it does really well as it is so it's not going to be binned, it's not going to be sold. My primary use for this is video editing and then we have music production, I don't do any gaming on this. I save that for the PS4. Okay, so the rest of what I'm gonna do will become apparent to you as I go through what I'm gonna do. Let's just get on with it then. First things first, that is to remove everything off of the laptop. This is my storage space for various things. Earrings, plastic BBs for my BB gun. Now I'm gonna disconnect all these. So yeah, it still works perfectly fine. And I'm still gonna use it just not upstairs. Now I'm just gonna give this a quick vacuum. And there we go, that is sorted. That was about three or four months worth of dust. Here we are, downstairs. That right there is what I'm gonna be taking upstairs. And you see this roll of cable right there. That is a 10 meter long HDMI cable, which I'll probably be taking upstairs with me too. Not too sure, we'll see about that. That keyboard there on the side is an Acer keyboard, came with a, um, a crappy tower and I've sort of been using that, well I've got this wireless keyboard and mouse, but I probably won't use a mouse. Asus uh, simple optical drive, because I still burn, read uh, CDs all the time. Going up next, let's do the CPU. Now what I'm going to do is disconnect all the cables on the back and take it upstairs. Just having a look on the inside to make sure everything is dust free, that way I don't have to drag the hoover upstairs. There was a screw on there, right in the middle of the screen right there, that decided to turn it with my fingers and it snapped off. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect all six of these hard drives, three on this side and three on the other side. And then I'm going to install an SSD drive, a one terabyte SSD drive. And then I'll install Windows on that. And then I'll reconnect all these drives and take the computer upstairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the main drive and then we're going to see how long it takes to start up. And then once Windows is installed, I'll see how long it takes to start up with the SSD drive. Also, I'm not starting this up just to see how long it takes to start up. I'm starting this up to get the Windows serial number because I need that for when I reinstall Windows. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just turn this on and start timing on my phone. This is not a joke. And here we are. Still loading up windows so more programs are loading and that is the time okay so I've got the Windows product key so what I'm gonna do now is take this out and there's three hard drives in here this is where the screw broke off from so I'm gonna take this out and then turn it so that the discs face this way same as these and I'll insert the SSD drive into this bay right there. All right, so I'm just gonna take this out like this and then just push these in properly and slide it back in this way around. Right, so there we go, that's the bay screwed in. I'll just put one screw there, by the way. The other one is uh, gonna stay the way it is because that's the way it's gonna stay. So I'm going to take this bait out now and on top of this is where I'm going to put this. This is a one terabyte solid state drive 
and it's going to go on top of there like that. Okay, so I've just put two screws in this on opposite sides. Can you spot them? Good. So now what I'll do is I'll insert this into the PC and install Windows on it. Also, it's kind of late right now, so when Windows is installed, I'll come back and it will be the morning. Or the afternoon, depending on when I wake up. So then, back to this. And here we have Pancake running around. Off like a rocket as soon as I move my hand. Anyway, so last night what I did was I installed Premiere Pro, Photoshop and a couple of other things. So, Premiere Pro is my video editor. Well, it's not mine, it's by Adobe, but I use it. And, uh, tail. And in case you didn't know, Premiere Pro uses the graphics card. The CUDA cores available on your graphics card. So this is a GTX 480. Funnily enough, it has 480 CUDA cores. Compared to what is available, it's not really that much. But with what I'm going to be using it for, the graphics card is the thing that's going to make the most difference. So yeah, CUDA cores are what matters most, with Premiere Pro anyway. I'm not really bothered about the amount of cores, this is a quad core. It's overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz. Meh, it does a job. I will upgrade it sooner or later, but for the most part, it's the graphics card that does all the work, with what I'm gonna be using the computer for anyway. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll pack this up and take it upstairs. And by the way, I'm gonna change the graphics card in this. So I'm going to see how the new graphics card works with Premiere Pro. Eventually I might change the processor, motherboard and RAM, but for now, probably just the graphics card. So here we are back upstairs again, and this is what it looks like without my laptop there. So for the most part the desk layout is going to remain the same way it's always been. And what I'm going to do now is that monitor, instead of it being portrait, I'm going to make it landscape to match this one. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that it fills up the space. No other reason. Um, I might get a uh, third monitor in the future. I'm not going to make any other upgrades just yet, other than the graphics card. And uh, yeah, anything else will come in time because I don't really need anything else. Um, I mean, I don't really need the graphics card, but I thought I might as well. Here's another angle of my desk and uh, this thing. Microphone, in other words. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rearrange that, like I said, and the video for this, check that out because you might like it. This, not the video. Then again, you might like the video and not like this. That reminds me, some of you kind of understand what I'm saying, some of you don't. And um, I'll try to add subtitles to some of my videos, but um, adding subtitles is a bit of a long procedure so I don't really want to do that so I might start speaking a little more clearly and a little more slowly because then everybody will be able to understand me not you me because I am the one that is speaking not you unless you write something in the comments then again you're still not speaking you're writing you're not even writing you're typing all right so here we are and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this around a little turn it there and then this is gonna come out but I could saw why are you lacist so yeah all I need to do is unscrew these and then reorientate right so the first thing I need to do is find a screwdriver I need to get a screwdriver so yeah I bought these monitors in 2015 and I think it says 2015 there which is a great way to remember stuff so it's good to make sure that you're holding the bottom of your monitor when you're doing this. Otherwise you'll be in for a big surprise and probably need a new monitor. Uh, make sure you can see the screws, otherwise you're not really going to get anywhere. Uh, somebody's ringing my phone as I'm in the middle of this. So if your monitor weighs a lot, then I suggest you get a friend to help you. Or your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister. Just make sure it's not your cat or your dog. On a screw. Wait a minute, I don't even need to unscrew these. Now I'll check to see who's calling me. Now I'll move this a little bit and turn that. So literally all I needed to do was just turn the monitor around. So I'll just put these back in and then we will be done with this. Right, so this is done and now what I'll do is I'll bring the computer into the room and we can wire that up. Okay, so here we go, that is the monitor sorted out. 
and I have sort of placed the microphone into the middle of the table. Next, I'm going to find a place for this. Check out the size of this compared to that door. Four of these stacked on top of each other would make that. By the way, in case you skip to the end of the video, I do have my eyes on an i9 processor, but that can wait. Like I said already, that by the way is my sub. Music production sub, off topic. So yeah, I'm gonna find a place to put this, wire it up, and then install a few more things, and then I've got something else I'm gonna put in here. Okay, so now that I've swapped the SSD drive and installed a few programs, what I'll do is I'll give it a quick startup test. And I'll press start on this, and I'll start on the timer. And uh, as you can see, I've put the audio interface on top of the tower, which leaves me with more room on my desk. The laptop, now the laptop takes about 27 seconds to start up. And right now we are on 32 seconds and... Which monitor? Which, ah, programs don't take very long to start up either. I'd say about 35 seconds, so that's a big difference. Also on my desk, I've got more space now. So uh, I might even put that thing, not this thing. I might even think about putting this keyboard on my desk. It's uh, quite big, but um, you know, I might as well put it to some use. Also, sometimes when I'm playing, I do need a few more keys. Uh, maybe I could use this for another synth, and this will also be connected. And there we have Squeaky.